in my movie, I do a segment of of the rock wars that were going on in those early days. But what I really like to know about, and if you could walk us through, Ken, because nowadays, if you go on the air, say like Meltdown at Riff or anybody of the kind, you know they have a system that's all digital, it's all computerized. Yeah. But when you walked into the studio back in at W four and even the ABX days. It, you worked your butt off for four hours, didn't you? I mean, talk to me. What was that like to do a show? Because it wasn't just about turning records, was it? No. Uh, and and the other thing is I was just going to follow up with with uh, what Buzzy was saying. I remember getting off the air. And I do remember even me sort of saying to myself, because of the pacing that we were doing back in the 70s, it was much more of a, hey, WWW. Great to be with you. Got a really tasty track coming up. <laughs> Going to do some Uriah Heap for you. No, not the one you're thinking about. But it was everybody was sort of in that lower. I remember Karen Savelli really. When you hear an air check of Karen, it was she was silky. She loved to use the word tasty, and I was, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, all right. And then, but the. The, 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 there was really no show prep, but I remember that we did everything according to, at that time, it was Don Schuster. We had a box. We had songs in the box. We sort of played with the format, but the whole format at the time was totally different. And I don't know if that's getting back to your question or not. But it was, you know, we just sort of got, we got there early because we wanted to be, that was really a clubhouse. Yeah, that was a place to hang out. If it would have had, um, like a bunk, literally a bunk house, a lot of people would stay there and should have stayed there because of what we would do around the area. I uh, often refer to it as the uh, University of Radio, because it was a time when uh, most of the people that worked there, myself included, it was our first radio jobs. Yeah, I mean, really yeah. in a major market. And, and it was WKRP in, in many, many, many ways. Many, many ways. Oh, yeah. my God, yes. And, you know, from the point where the uh, general manager would tell you to go out, if, if you were sitting at your desk, he'd say, I listen, uh, there's potholes in the parking lot. Go out and fill them. Yeah, yeah. I remember cutting <laughs> Ron, the I'll, I'll address, can I address on some level the yeah, comparison between yeah. the digitally programmed era of now and the freer form era of then, although it was formatted. Um the case you could make for the way it's programmed now is that it lends for more consistency because as much as there was formatting back then and Ken was following a format when he went in there and Karen was following the same format, it still allowed for the individual Jack's personal taste to come mm. through 